Now I'll try to draw a very precisely measured parabola in Corel Draw, starting with my standard 18 inch wide, 6 inch high page. And I'll zoom in so I can see things more precisely. Now I've got a height of 6 inches and a width of 18. Uh, the center point is important. This, uh, so the center point here is 9 inches in the x direction. I'll use my three-point curve. I need to start at x equals 3 so that I can have a width of 12 inches centered at x equals 9 inches. For the y-axis, I'm choosing y equals 4.5 inches as my start point. Once I've got that precise, precisely in place, then I stretch this across until I get to x equals 15 inches. That's a total width of 12 inches. Release my mouse. And now I set the depth. I'm still holding down shift, you remember. Uh, I should set the depth to y equals 1.5 inches so that the parabola itself is 3 inches deep. That's what my graph on paper showed. Now, uh, I need to make this an actual cutout in the acrylic, which means I now need a second parabola just above the first one, all the way across. And so that's what I'll do next. All right, now I'm starting to draw my second parabola. It's important that you're not snapped to anything, so deselect all those snap to options. And I'm zooming in so that I can be very precise here. Uh, you want this zoomed in as far as you can get. Something like this is pretty good. Uh, maybe even a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. So now, three-point curve again. Start very slightly above the left-hand endpoint. So this is where you think about how wide your slit should be in the acrylic. I'm trying to make it uh, just barely, maybe a 0.06 inches above the previous one. And I'm stretching that across using the shift key. Then release. And then set the depth so that it looks like these are really parallel curves all the way across the screen. So I'm doing this by eye, but it's pretty easy to tell when you've got it right. I clicked there to set the depth of the second parabola. Now I want to finish my cutout design by putting a little line at each end of the smile so that it's actually a closed figure and this, uh, this curved section will fall out of the acrylic when we cut it. So I'll zoom in quite a ways here um, so I can really see what I'm doing accurately. And then I'll find the end of the smile and then I'll use a straight connector tool right here. Straight line connector tool. And I'll simply put a cap at the end of the smile. All right, just like that. And you can see how zooming in makes it very precise. Uh, now I'll find the other end of my smile. And similarly, straight line connector. And cap that off right there. So now when I zoom out, I can see that my smile is complete and the laser cutter is ready to cut that figure out of the acrylic. One more thing I can do here is really check the thickness of my um, of the cutout. I have to fit a sheet of polycarbonate in, into this cutout. If the cutout is too thin then the polycarbonate won't fit. So here I'm looking at the center of the parabola, x equals 9 inches. In the lower left hand corner I have coordinates of the cursor, so of this pointer. And if I do this carefully I can measure the thickness. Uh, so there's the first point there, 1.504 inches in the y direction. And then if I go to the top of the curve, and I try to get it right about there. 1.565 inches is the top of the curve. So I've got a, a thickness of about 0.060. That's the thickness of 
my larger polycarbonate sheet. So this should be a really snug fit and uh, we'll try it out. So now I have a nice par parabolic cutout. I'll now want to add a cutout for the actual acrylic tube that carries the water. You'll recall that this parabola has a focus of three inches. So I'll want to use this ellipse tool, which also draws circles. I'll center it at x equals nine and y equals four and a half inches. That's three inches above the vertex of the parabola. I'm actually going 4.5455 4, 5, 5, because the thickness of the parabola itself is, is not negligible. Once I have it centered, I'm holding down shift and control. Shift and control will draw a circle from this center point here. I'm stretching it out until I see that the diameter of the circle is a little bit more than one and three quarter inches. The tube itself is one and three quarter inch diameter on the outside. So here I've got a 1.79 inch diameter circle, which I'm reading up here in the corner. And that should be fine for my tube. The coordinates of the center look pretty good. Um, I could change it if, if I drew it poorly. I could change the coordinates of the center just by typing in manually. And there we go. So this looks like a perfect template for a cutout that will fit the acrylic tube. Over here there's a control that's the, the thickness of the line you're drawing. For the laser cutter, a uh, hairline is recommended. That's a negligible thickness line, which is good for the laser.